If she had our resources, she'd write a book for It's a bright school day again, and most of the children in the community are off for early classes. As usual, Grace, a young bright girl, can only look from the corridor of her home. Oh God, how I wish I was also dressed in my uniform to join them go to school. Hmm. Grace! Yes, mother. Where are you? You are running late. The boom has returned to my Mesewa. And what's with the dropping face? Mother, when can I also join my friends too? Don't, Grace. We have discussed this already. Aside from the financial constraints, I have told you the walking distance to school is way too long for a child like you. But I wish to go to school and become an engineer one day. That schooling and engineering ambition can rest for now. You do as I say. Pick the items and off you go. Grace sadly leaves the house and makes her way to the town center to deliver the goods. There you go, Auntie Sewa. All I want is to be in school. How long will I continue to be left behind? The whole morning, as usual, was spent on errands, household chores, a little break and more chores. Hello Grace, we are back. Hope to see you soon. Sure, consider me there. Great. We have some new books you might be interested in. So what's the answer to this one? It's Egypt. Oh wow, you know the answer. That's incredible. Thanks. You are smart and I'm wondering why you are still not in school. Grace. Well, hmm, it's a long story Beatrice, but I am hopeful that one day this will pass. Alright, it's running late, I need to go home. Sure, it's always been fun studying with you. Bye Grace. It's Saturday. I wonder what could be so exciting out there at this time. Mommy, can I go play with my friends outside, please? Sure. Right after your morning chores. Would you like to try your luck riding? Oh, no way. She's a girl. She can't ride. We couldn't. Well, who knows? She still can give it a shot. Would you? What a man can do, a woman can do better. Happy falling, oh. <laughs> Let's see how she falls. <laughs> okay, you got this. Right on. I cannot believe my eyes. Watch me, boys. I'm making it to that tree and back. <laughs> Precious God, the girl is actually riding the bike. <laughs> I'm loving this, Grace. Show the boys how to do it. Ah, she rides indeed. How was that? Awesome, Grace. You beat the boys in riding the bike. You have surprised all of us with your skill. I, I can't, I can't believe this. Can you do that again? <laughs> Absolutely. Hooray! This is awesome. The first female biker in town. The boys had no choice than to follow her with cheers and jubilation. Soon it was time to return to the big city. Everybody was sad. Just when they were getting used to Abeku and the fun he brought to the kids, he had to leave. I have a little surprise for you, Grace. So, my mom has permitted me to gift you with this bike. Oh, wow. We hope you find this gift useful. Absolutely. I'm so speechless, Abeku. Thank you so much. Mother. I guess the worry over long distance issue is over. I can now start going to school. Absolutely, my girl. The bike indeed was a blessing. Now she can not just ride to school to get an education, but also run a few more errands for the family with much ease. I must say, your daughter really looks different. She looks empowered. Yes, and she has been so popular earning a nickname. The girl on the red bike. Imagine that. She's also been helping other kids remain punctual at school with that bike. I'm so grateful for that gift. It just unearthed so much potential in my daughter. You could have easily missed this if you had continued keeping her at home. Education is really the best thing for our children. She feels so liberated. I have a feeling the bicycle will help her complete her education and prepare her better for jobs in the future. Girl child education really has far more benefits than we assume. Oh yes, not to forget the vicious cycle of having to live hand to mouth. Indirectly, poverty will not be knocking at my family doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to education. Another good 
news, mother. I passed with flying colors. I am headed for higher education. That's my daughter. I'm so proud of you, Grace. I have no doubt you are going to sail through all the challenges ahead. Life in the city will be quite different. We need to prepare our list of items to buy to prepare you for the next phase of your education. Thank you so much, mother. I am truly grateful for the support. Finally, Grace and the mother arrived at the university campus. It was a whole new beginning for her. Even though Grace found herself in a male-dominated class, she was not deterred. In fact, she proved more of a tough student to beat the top scoring positions in most of the subjects. Her success in first class student achievement did not come as a surprise. Grace became a successful engineer after graduating from the university. Bicycles will help children commute safer to school, keep them in school, improve students' performance, increase self-esteem, especially among girls. It is my hope and dream that these gifts will do same for all the children here, especially the girl child. I'm really inspired. I will make sure my girl child gets educated to become like her one day. Grace beams with a smile as she looks on at a girl attempting to ride the bike for the first time. You can do it, girl. With determination, a girl can do and become anything she dreams of. Just keep riding on. So now you know, you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Realize those dreams she might turn out to be. Better than them.